What's up guys, Chris here and welcome to a new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare video. Today we're taking a look at the best class setup for the BAL-27. Let's just get right into it. So for our attachments, we're going to be running the foregrip, the suppressor and extended max. The foregrip is an absolute must on this gun because it kicks quite a bit, but the foregrip will make it into a laser beam. It's absolutely insane how good this gun is with a the foregrip. There is no class setup that you should be using with about 27 without a foregrip. The suppressor is to keep us off the radar. This build is focused around stealthy gameplay, so the suppressor is again a must have. Extended max is a very nice thing to have, simply because you run out of ammo very fast in this game and we will not have scavenger on this class setup. Extended max will give you extra ammo in reserve as well as in the clip, which is always very helpful. Obviously to have all three attachments, we're gonna need the primary gunfighter wildcard. We're not gonna be running any secondary though. So moving on to perks, we have low profile from perk tier 1 again to keep us off the radar. There is a lot of UAVs being spammed in this game because a lot of the other score streaks are not worth using. Everybody seems to be running a UAV and keeping off that radar is just really really useful. We're gonna be dropping perk 2 in favor for perk 3 greed so we can have both toughness and blast suppressor. Toughness to keep that flinch down which is very very useful on an assault rifle class and blast suppressor again to keep us off the radar when we move around. In terms of exo abilities in launcher there is two options. You can either go for an exo ability or an exo launcher or you can go for both but sacrifice a kill streak. I like to go for exo overclock or semtex. Exo Overclock is great to get us moving around the map, probably my favorite Exo ability because you seem to run quite slowly in this game. Exo Overclock is great for a Russian class, which this class is definitely meant for. The Semtex though is great if you play an objective game mode like Momentum to clear out objectives. For our score streaks, this is really down to personal preference. I like to run the UAV, System Hack and Bombing Run. The UAV to keep the radar up so we can see where the enemies are the system hack to make sure they can't see where we are at any time and the bombing run to get us a few kills. There's a lot of different ways you can set up about 27 and you'll pretty much never go wrong in all honesty. This is my favorite suppressed setup but if you don't want to go with the suppressor there's plenty of other options. You can never really go wrong with this gun as I said but I think you should definitely try out this class setup and I think you'll have a great time with it. At least until the battle 27 gets nerfed this is arguably the best class setup in the game you can just run around, people will not wor know where you're at and even if you go into a one-on-one -on -one gunfight, you're very likely to come out on top because how powerful the Battle 27 is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this class setup, if you did make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video, peace.